least 22 million people in the United States are affected by asthma. Uh, granted, there's a, a wide range of, of severity. Some people are mildly affected, some people are more severely affected. But it's a chronic illness that, that definitely negatively impacts a lot of our patients. Pre-prep procedure involved with bronchial thermoplasty is really no different than a routine bronchoscopy. It's performed in an outpatient setting. Uh, we generally bring the patients in after they've fasted, uh, not eaten anything after midnight. Uh, generally, the nurses will place in an IV to deliver medications, um, and we will prepare them by giving them two separate types of medications. One is uh, a morphine-like drug that helps with pain and helps relax the patient. The other one is a Valium-like drug that helps them forget about the procedure and make them sleepy. You'll be asleep, so you won't be feeling anything. And I gently glide the bronchoscope down into your lungs. They're very comfortable throughout the procedure, and I've not had any complaints uh, during all the procedures that I've done. I do find, though, the uh, patients are able to wake up very quickly and go about their day and uh, recover very nicely. As far as uh, the concept of a surgical treatment for asthma, it's a very novel concept. Uh, these patients are used to taking these medications long term for the rest of their life. I think many of them are very excited about the possibility of a one-time procedure that can strongly impact their asthma. Uh, this, this procedure is not going to cure their asthma, but I think it will definitely uh, greatly improve the, the management and the quality of their life. Well, I'm very excited about this new technology. I really think it offers uh, a new opportunity to greatly impact our patients' lives. I certainly would recommend this for a family member or a loved one.